Well, it's about time my golf cart got the same treatment as everything else I own and needs a full makeover and ultimate rebuild, as you might say. <laughs> Every golf cart we ever get, we always put a lift kit on it, new wheels, new tires. So this should go by pretty easily for me. I've done it multiple times. Uh, never done it on a club car though. This is our first club car. Uh, it's a 1999, I believe, uh, electric club cart. We just replaced all the batteries like last week, so. That's all good to go there. It runs great, stops great, all the mechanical sides of it, it it's all perfect. Just cosmetically, it does not look very good. <laughs> now, it doesn't look very good at all, it looks pretty old. So we're gonna change that, I wanna paint it, I wanna put a whole lift kit on it, do all that stuff. First, we need to tear it all down to the bare metal though. Bare aluminum, I think. I think the frame's aluminum on these. But anyways, let's just tear it all down. I wanna get it all taken apart, get it ready for paint. Yeah, let's do it.
Man, this paint color looks awesome. It looks so good. I would tell you the paint color. Problem is, I actually custom mixed it. I used these three different colors and just made one off. I have a lot of these little cans of paint, not enough to actually paint something with. So what I like to do is just take similar colors and mix them all together and paint off something like that. I did the same thing with my sea -Doo. I mixed like a couple different colors to paint that silver look. But this, I used an orange and a couple reds and it made this burnt orange color. Yeah, it looks, I think it looks really awesome. So I can't give you the paint color for that, but I can tell you the paint gun I used, Eastwood CC500, I love this gun. I really abuse it too and it always sprays perfectly. So if you're looking for a gun to use, I'd recommend that gun. The paint laid really flat. Problem is, there's obviously a little bit of dirt in it. I'm painting in the garage. It's all open over here. I usually like to put a tarp up. I just, the store was closed yesterday and I was a little lazy. I didn't really feel like putting the tarp up. So a little bit of dirt got in it, not a huge deal. It's a golf cart. I mean, I'm, I know it's not gonna be perfect anyway, but yeah, it came out really good. I like it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these out in the sun, let them cure for a little bit. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the golf cart in and start working on that lift kit. I gotta, I gotta figure out. I haven't done a lift kit on one of these yet, so a little bit of figuring out to do. I think I underestimated how big this lift kit actually was. I guess six inches is enough. <laughs> I've been told wrong my whole life, you know, but six inches is enough, guys. I get it all lined up, everything's all mounted up, the rear's on, everything's on. I had to wait for my tie rods to come in because I ordered new ones. I just gotta tighten them up. I was adjusting the toe in, but got it all straight. It's all ready to be tightened up. Problem is, or there was a problem, I already fixed it today. I ordered these rims for it. I love the whole, I really just focus on the style of rim it was, not on the tire. And <laughs> yeah, you can see how small it is. It's, it's definitely gonna look really funny up there. They're basically the same size as what's already on it. So if you're looking for just new rims, not really a lift kit, this is the, this is the ones to go for. Now I couldn't order any new ones online and be able to get them in in time for this, this video. So went on Facebook Marketplace, ended up finding these. These are brand new, uh, 14 inch rims, 23 inch all terrain tires. I wanted something a little bit more low key on the tire because it's gonna be on the road its whole life. It's not really 
going to go off-roading. It's a it's an electric golf cart. You don't really want to take it off-road, but these look really good. The right size that <laughs> I need for this huge lift kit. So, so we're going to go ahead and throw these on, get it all tightened up. I need to tighten up the tie rods and yeah, throw those on. Then we start putting the body together.
Man, this thing turned out so good. I love, I love all the black, I love the orange. This color is amazing. I thought about painting this aluminum black to match everything else, but I think it would throw it off. I, I like it tying in with the wheels a little bit. So I'm gonna keep that chrome, not really chrome, it's more of aluminum, but I'm gonna keep that the same for right now. I have other plans for this. As you can tell, the seat looks pretty rough. I actually spray painted these black. They were originally white, I needed them black to match the new rear seat and I ordered new seat covers they're just not gonna be in time for this video so I have to put those on in a future video I actually ordered a whole set so I'm gonna end up rewrapping these too it's like a it's like a diamond pattern stitching it looks really nice <laughs> I think it's gonna look really cool this rear seat kit I wasn't super impressed with it it was missing a lot of pieces like a lot of these bolts were missing the instructions were awful it was basically just pictures so I had no idea which bolts go where so I just had to like, kind of figure it out along the way. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I bought the cheapest ones, so I, get, I guess I get what I paid for. Yeah, like I had to add these bolts or in, in these nuts right here. Had to modify this whole thing so I'd work with my, with my roof. Black roof looks good. I had to like, touch up some certain spots. It kind of got scuffed, but that all looks really good. It matches really well. <laughs> Headlights are awesome. Super bright at night, LED. The underlights are <laughs> really, really cool. It wasn't hard to wire these things up. The headlight wiring was super easy. Um, running the wires to keep them all hidden because they were pretty long. So I had, to, I had to work through that a little bit. That was the only difficult part about it. But other than that, it all, it all turned out really good. Once I get the seat cover in, it will be pretty much perfect. And that's a wrap for this video. I spent roughly $1,000 on this whole thing. Now, obviously, I didn't pay for paint because I already had it. Those under lights, I already had those. I was gonna use them for another project that I didn't end up using. So that was all not counted in. I think I could have saved some money too. I learned when I bought those wheels off Facebook Marketplace, I bought them through a wholesaler. He kind of just buys a bunch of parts and sells them to other people. I could have saved some money going through him if I bought the whole lift kit and the wheels and the seat coverage and all that kind of stuff. I could have saved a lot of money. He said a lot of people make that mistake too. So if you guys are looking to do this, look into buying stuff from Facebook Marketplace to like wholesalers. I don't, I don't really know what they're called, but that's kind of like wholesaling. So look through that if you're looking to do this. Save, save a little bit of money. There is a little bit more I want to do to this golf cart, depending on how well it does. If you guys like this video, I'll make another episode. I want to add like a whole radio and speaker systems and also recover those seats, like I said. And also the brakes are doing a little something right now. I don't know what's up with them, so I have to fix that too. So if you guys like it, let me know. You guys like these little one-off episodes where I just do the whole build in one episode or do you like it series? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I have an Instagram. I post a lot behind the scenes. I posted behind the scene pictures of this whole cart. Give, a, give them a little sneak peek that what I was doing that week. So you can check me out there. Link's right here. If not, I will catch you guys next episode. Don't know what I'm doing. See ya.